this will be a presentation about tips and tricks of ultrasound in Mariko cell. European Society of Urogenital Radiology published a guideline paper for Mariko cell in 2020. I'm going to take this article as a guide here. Patients should be evaluated both in supine and standing positions. Evaluation should include the ultrasound steps of grayscale, color, and spectral Doppler. Test is volume measurement should be included as a part of evaluation and should be performed according to the Lambert's formula. The largest pump uniform plexus frame should be taken into consideration regardless of the level. Evaluation should include the imaging during the Valsalva maneuver in addition to the neutral respiration. Valsalva maneuver should also be performed while the patient is in standing position. The threshold diameter is 3 mm at the largest point. Testis volume is measured by multiplication of three orthogonal dimensions by 0.70. During the Valsalva flow reversal more than two seconds should be considered abnormal. You see the enlarged veins here and the color reflux. This is natural respiration and you see the reversal of flow during the Valsalva maneuver. Four seconds, which is abnormal. Measurement of speed is not included in the recommendations because optimal imaging and standardization are difficult to maintain. For varicocell imaging, there are some special considerations. Intratesticular varicocell is a rare but severe form of the disease which commonly causes the atrophy of the testis. In adolescent varicocell, nutcracker phenomenon may be the cause and should be investigated. And severe varicocell or isolated right-sided varicocell, a pelvic or an abdominal mass compressing the testicular veins should be checked. Here is the example of an intratesticular varicocell with dilated tubular veins inside of the testis, testicular atrophy, and you see the veins are filled during the Valsalva maneuver. This is an adolescent male with varicocell, and the cause is a nutcracker phenomenon. The left renal vein is enlarged, the compression of the left renal vein between the superior mesenteric artery and the aorta, and you see the turbulence in the vein and increased velocities. In conclusion, standardization of the technique is important. The patients should be evaluated in standing position and during Valsalva maneuver in addition to the conventional imaging technique. The largest pump in plexus plexus vein more than 3 mm at any level and more than 2 seconds reverse flow on spectral Doppler ultrasound should be considered abnormal and diagnostic for varicocell. Thank you for listening.